Yeah, go ahead. Um, why is it in Islam the music is haram? Because personally, like, I when I listen to some types of music. Is there someone listening to my conversation too? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's not, yeah, he's no problem. Best, so is no right? problem. It's okay. Uh, because yeah, when I listen to music, for example, like not like the common music nowadays, like not on the charts. But when I listen to like piano music or I play music or like you know classical music that's not even got any words, for me it feels like it brings me closer to God. Like I'm not Muslim, but I'm interested in Islam. But I, Alhamdulillah, it's good interest in Islam. I mean, uh, getting these things like this are kind of stopping me because I think for no. me it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to because in my eyes music comes from God like it's a, something that He has created like that we can use to our advantage to make us closer to God. No, but historically speaking, I've respect sister. Historically speaking, music does not bring you to, uh, closer to God. And uh, not just historically. Now let us let me. Let us lay down foundation for you to understand the point and inshallah will be clear to you, yes? In order now to work, for example, if you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? If you want to buy your love. Because you want to buy something that she's happy with, yes? Now, if you're going to work, another example, analogy. If you're going to work and the boss, he wants you to do something that to make him happy or to make his business successful are you going according to you are you going to do according to your desires and according to the way you're going to feel or according to the structure and the the the, the guideline that the manager has given you which one the, the, one, the, the manager yes okay so that's why based upon allah's wisdom and Allah's justice when allah creates us he never left it up to our feelings and our intellects to come to conclusion how to worship him because we have different ways we have different feelings. Yes, generally speaking, we know there's a creator, you should be worshipped, no doubt about that. However, how to worship him in details, you need a guideline from who? From a creator. You understand? Like this is it. It's great. No, they're just singing. They're just, they're yeah, just singing over here. There's the music, see? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> the point here is that with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the creator of everything. When He legislates something, we know sometimes we can know the wisdom behind it. Sometimes we don't know. However, we know that we have a little wisdom and a little knowledge. And we know the Creator has a perfect wisdom, a perfect knowledge. Do you agree? So it's illogical. If you don't mind, can we move a bit? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of... It's just crazy, man. Yeah, he's a peaceful. Uh, it's sorry, Salam so alaikum. Huh? It's better, it's better. Yeah, they were just shouting, man, screaming. People should bring their cameras, you know. They, uh, bring, uh, someone bring the guy. This no, is not mine, but these people, they leave their cameras and don't come. That's the problem with speaking Skonda. Sorry, sister, you know, just because uh, there are people shouting. So, what I was saying that it's illogical. It's illogical, irrational that us, we should utilize our small knowledge, our small, our, our feelings to dictate to the all-knowing, to the most wise, how should we get closer to him? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned music is haram, no doubt about that. You know, because why? One of the things that people used to do to turn people away from God is by listening to music. And, and even scholars mention that music is like a Satan way to turn people away from God. Because many people sometimes, they think they're doing something good, but in reality, it's something bad. That's why in order for us to get closer to God, first, it has to be based upon knowledge. Which knowledge? Not our feelings, knowledge that comes from the Creator. So does it say specifically in the Quran that you can't listen to music? Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned there's a verse, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَتَّخِذُ لَهَوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ So the meaning of the verse was revealed because there was a man, he used to bring singers from Persia. And when he used to see people going to listen to the Quran, he used to tell them, why are you going to listen to Muhammad? Come listen to the singer, okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that these 10 people away from God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, but that should not stop you because me, even myself, I was born as a Muslim, okay? Of course, there was a time when I went misguided, you know, turned away from God, you know? And when I started practicing, I used to listen, listen to music. And may Allah forgive us, you know? But the reason I mentioned that because Islamically, we're not allowed to mention our previous sins. But the reason I mentioned that, to show you, sister, even if you listen to music, should not stop you from accepting 
and worshiping your creator. That everything around us and even the Islamic teaching go in line and show us clear proofs that Islam is the truth. That should not prevent you. Because if you imagine the day of judgment or imagine you die today, may Allah forbid, and you stand before your creator. And he said, the reason I never accept you because of music. Do you think that would be a valid reason when you know that you should worship your creator according to his teaching, not according to the way you're feeling? Mm. That would not be a valid reason. So do you think it's like a, I guess these things on the earth there is a test for us, like alcohol, clubbing, music. Do you think the music's been created as a test for us? Every, yeah, it's a test, no doubt, yeah. As I told you, and we, how music started, the scholars mentioned, Adam had two sons. Okay, no, I don't think they were children of Adam. They were the children of children of Adam. Mm -hmm. So, these children of children of Adam, some of them they were righteous, and some of them they were evil. Satan came as a young person to those who were as evil people, or they were doing evil. And he started teaching them how to sing. That's how the music came about, you know? So, it goes back to, to the shaitan, you know? So, of course, music is a test. It's a test for me. But like even me, there's some music I still listen to. No problem. There's some music I still listen to. I see, when I'm, I'm walking past and I see people listening to it, I just put my, like, you know, I'm scared. Because it's a fitna, not a fitna means a trial for me. You understand? It's a test. But however, if you leave something for the sake of Allah, Allah will replace you with something better than it. And what is that? Which is something the best. Listen to the Quran. That's how I stop listening to music. Because it is impossible that you listen to the Quran, the speech of Allah. And you know the Quran, you know about the music, yeah? regardless if it's a classic music or not, it gives you like a, a fake, you know, when it's the music, you, 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 it's like you start, what is the word? Uh, it's kind of like a dreaming. Huh? Fake dreaming. Yeah, start dreaming, you, start, dreaming. you feel like you're connected, yeah? But when you turn it off, everything goes off. Do you feel like that though when you turn off the Quran? No. That's, the Quran, that's, that's what I'm going to mention that. What is it? Because even me before when I start thinking about what is the music Quran, Quran when you when you listen to Quran, Quran when it affects your heart, when it affects your heart, affects your limbs. When it affects your limbs, you start acting it into the society. So you are living the Quran, you are implementing the Quran. You know, that's why the beauty of the Quran, the music. Like some people listen to hip hop music, yeah. I am gangsta. I'm gonna kill everyone. He turns off the the music, then he remember he lives in a council house. He has to pay the bills. He remember tomorrow has to go to school. So all that fake uh, imagination, likewise, uh, gone. Yeah, it wears off, that's the word, it wears off. But the Quran, my sister, when you listen to it, when you turn it off, you're still feeling it and it push you to implement it. What about if it's uh, like music about Islam? You know, you remind me of, uh, 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 <laughs> you remind me of someone, even that. But you know, there's something we call shir in Arabic. What? Shir, poem. A poem which is do with melody but without instrumental music. Because there's a hadith, Nabi Alaihi Wasallam. Like, you can listen to this, you know. Some people do it in English, you know. There's like a poem, they do it with a nice voice. Uh, some ulama said it's allowed. We go back to the poem and everything. But the haram is instrumental music. And Nabi Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, there will come a time when my, my ummah, my nation, will make um, silk halal and instrumental music halal. You know, so even this so-called uh, Islamic music, it's haram doesn't make any sense. It's like you're going to what they call it, uh, uh, or someone should do fornication, said is that Islamic fornication. Fornication is haram doesn't make any sense. You know, so what I would say to your sister, don't let this thing to stop you. Because you are, look, when I start practicing, like I said, there was many things, it was very hard for me to leave. But I acknowledged, I said my own existence, everything, me personally, and whatever is surrounding me, I'm created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah owns me. So logic dictates I should worship Allah and nothing should stop me. Because look, look, look at Allah's mercy. Allah knows that we are weak. So even if you're doing, if you become Muslim and you listen to music, you know, increase good deeds. You know, you know, do, do, listen to Quran. Barakallah, Jazakallah khairaki. Listen to the Quran, you know, alhamdulillah. But don't let these things stop you to become a Muslim.